Kylian Mbappé's two brutal snubs ahead of PSG and Real Madrid Champions League tie. Kylian Mbappé will be in the spotlight when PSG face off against Real Madrid in the Champions League on Tuesday night. The France international is wanted by the La Liga giants, who are confident they'll secure his signature in the summer transfer window. PSG's match with Real Madrid tonight has the makings of a classic. The League One giants have been in fine form domestically this term, with the league title practically already in the bag. But they'll go up against a Los Blancos side who have been steadily improving under Carlo Ancelotti over the course of the campaign. All eyes will be on Mbappe throughout the showdown as he looks to drown out the noise surrounding his future amid interest from this evening's opponents. Real believe that they can finally sign the 2018 World Cup winner, who has been on their radar for a number of years. In 2014, when Mbappe was still harnessing his skills in Monaco's academy, the La Liga giants tried to snap him up. However, speaking last year, the 23-year-old revealed he turned them down because he was unsure if it was the right move for him at the time. Think you know sport? Test your sporting knowledge with our tricky quiz my parents wanted me to start my career in France, to be educated in France, he stated. To play football, but also to continue my education. To go to Spain, even if it was with Zidane, it was another country, another culture, in the end, the decision to stay with Monaco paid off. Mbappe was central as the club beat PSG to the League One title in 2017, playing some entertaining and enterprising football under Leonardo Jardim. He scored 26 goals across all competitions that year and then, months later, moved to the Parc des Princes. Mbappe initially crossed the divide on loan before permanently joining PSG for a massive pounds 166 million. Yet he was again wanted by Madrid that year, who knew Cristiano Ronaldo was entering the twilight years of his career. Mbappe would, upon moving to PSG, then explain he turned down the advances of Florentino Perez because he wanted to make history in his homeland. Great players make history in their own country, he told Telefoot. If I had left France after six months I would have left as an eternal hope. When you come to Paris you are at a club that has the ambition to be the best in the world, you have come to a club that wants to play in all the competitions. I'm going to give everything I have got to make history with PSG. Playing with Neymar is something extraordinary. PSG already interested me, but having Neymar is an additional boost. Whether Mbappe's choice has been vindicated, however, is questionable. PSG have won every domestic trophy during his time at the club, including three league titles and three Coupe de France crowns. Yet when it comes to the Champions League, the French giants have failed. PSG made the final in 2020, but were beaten by Bayern Munich, with Kingsley Coman's goal proving to be the difference. And what ultimately happens with his future, as his contract prepares to expire in the summer, remains to be seen. Speaking recently to Express Sport, meanwhile, former real star Jeremy expressed doubts over a summer move from BAP. My personal view is that, for me, I don't think it will be possible, he said. I remember Mbapp at the beginning saying my wish is to play with the biggest footballer in the world. Now, when you look at the squad of Paris Saint-Germain he has it there. I don't think he will move when he has all of the best players in the world and go to another big club. Because when you move from one club to another club it's like starting another challenge. He's already settled, he's one of the best players in Paris Saint-Germain. So I think he's started to become one of the leaders in the dressing room, one of the best players in the dressing room.